This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. In this lesson, we're going to begin to discuss tables. If you'd like to follow along, go under the file menu to open and in the sample files folder, scroll down to a folder which is 1101 the basics of setting up tables. And inside of that folder, you're going to find a layout 1101, the basics of setting up tables, and just click open. There are three very easy ways to create tables in InDesign. The first is pre-existing tabbed text. I'm just going to select that text and go under my table menu to convert text to table. And the Convert Text to Table dialog window opens up, and the column separators are going to be tabs. So every place that there's a tab is going to become the next column. Row separators are paragraph returns. So after each paragraph return, a new row will be created. I'm just going to click OK. And you can see I get a very basic default table. It's going to need some work and some formatting, but it gave us a great start. Why don't we scroll down to the next page? Another way to set up a table very simply is just get an insert point on this page and go under Table, Insert Table. And it's going to ask you how many rows, how many columns, do you want header rows, do you want footer rows, and we'll be talking about headers and footers in a later lesson. I'm just going to click OK, and it gives me a basic table with no text in it. I could then type my text, hit a tab key to go to the next cell, and just keep typing. So I would have to enter all of my text myself. But this also gives you a great beginning of setting up a table. Let me scroll down to the next page and get an insert point at the very beginning of that big frame. Another way that you can create a table is actually to import an Excel file. The way you would do that is go under your file menu to place. Go into that same folder, 1101, the basics of setting up tables, and you'll see that one of the files is actually an Excel file. Now, I could just click open, but I want to go into my options just to make sure that I'm not bringing in strange RGB colors from my Excel file. So I'm going to hold down my Shift key and then click on Open. It looks like it's bringing in an unformatted basic table, exactly what I want. If I only wanted to bring in certain cells, I could do that by changing the cell information. I could also bring in a different sheet from that Excel file. In this case, there's only one sheet. And there's other choices as well, like use typographer's quotes or the number of decimal places to include in the text that comes in. I'm just going to click OK. It's set up a table that has a lot of problems with it, but it's a great beginning. And we'll be taking care of all of the problems in all of these tables that we've set up in the next lesson.